So to survey the stockpile, I want to create an auto survey. So auto survey points, and I'm going to leave this on five seconds at time. You can choose time, distance, and stop and go. But this for this one, I'm going to use time. And five seconds is okay. I'm on, I'm on bottom of the bank. The code, which is bottom of the bank here. So I'm going to go start auto when I get to it. Okay. So there's the bottom of the bank incomplete. And I wanted to close this polyline now, just to make it a boundary that everything else that's surveyed inside will be within this boundary. So what I go to is line number two, and it's active when it's orange. I'm going to tap the arrow over, and I want to hit close. Do you want to close the next line? I do. So then, when you go in here, it's inactive. And when you tap on the screen twice, it brings it through to CAD, and that is the outside boundary fully complete. What I want to do now is I want to take spot levels of all the points within that shape so we have a 3D surface to create. So my code changes to spot level SL. Here it is spot level and I am going to do an auto survey as well. That soil, sandy silt, it's like it's a top soil, but it's a heavier content. It's usually, top soil is 1.5 ton uh, a cube. I can it come up if there's, if there's a heavier density of sand in it. So, we have a look at the coefficients, but getting back to the survey. So, you can see there now our survey is done, and we have the, our, our surrounding boundary. And we've all our points taken there. So we're going to create that surface now and show you what it looks like. So next step, go into surface and volumes. We're going to create a surface, add a surface and call it stockpile topsoil. And we're going to choose the color of it. 
and points. We're going to select from CAD and we're going to select select area and drag all the way over here. That's all the points. Then I want to accept that and select the boundary. So the boundary is going to lock us all in and that's going to create the bottom of bank. And that's all we need. Accept that. So when you look at it now, you have this shape and you can see all the different levels we took. But a better reflection is when we turn it around. And you can see the shape just as we were looking at it from the front on view when we took the shot back. So that was our, our first view when you look at that.